The Scholars Program began in 1980. Uh, it's hard to believe that this is actually the 27th year. After about six or seven years of what was called the University Scholars Program, it was recognized in national print as one of the three or four best honors programs in the country. But the thing that really put the stamp of the gold medal seal on that was this marvelous endowment. I never forgot what Penn State did for me. And therefore, I got reinvolved some years later after I graduated because I wanted to. But as I got more involved with Penn State, I started to realize what special thing could I do for Penn State that would make them a breed apart themselves ac academically. And one night at the uh, Nittany Lion Inn, I happened to have dinner with uh, John Brighton and Dr. Spanier, and the subject came up and uh, they made a presentation to me. And I said to him, I said, where's, where, where's the, there must be a price on here somewhere. And they said, it's on the last page. I said, I'll save and read that part later. Bill and Joan Schreier are incredible human beings. Every time we have asked, they have stepped up and given. Their philanthropy has made all the difference in the quality and reputation of this Honors College. And every student who graduates from the Schreier Honors College inherits the legacy that Bill and Joan Schreier have created. The idea of an honors college was not just to develop very good, strong scholars, but scholars who can also become strong leaders in whatever they go into, whether it's business or in agriculture or in engineering, but to be, uh, to be leaders, and God knows that this world needs more leaders. I teach in an underfunded inner city school. I chose to do Teach for America because I see education as one of the most important things anyone has in their life. And I think the Shire Honors College is actually one of the places where I saw that. I was surrounded by highly educated, motivated people who are going to do things. I graduated from the Honors College in May of 2006. Upon graduation, I started an internship with a law firm in New York called Paul Weiss. Right after that, I started law school here at Penn. My thesis advisor was pivotal, not only in helping me write my thesis, but also with the process of applying to law school. I work with UBS, it's a Swiss bank. We focus in the private banking realm, manage money for individuals and their families. I think the biggest thing is that the Honors College challenges you to question things. It challenges you to kind of go farther than you're comfortable with. I had a phenomenal job when I got out of school. I was on GE's Communication Leadership Development Program, which gave me the opportunity to work in Paris. I moved around all the time, which gave me a lot of self-reliance. But I've also recently gone back to school to become a health counselor, and I've started my own health counseling practice. I am working towards self-employment in a socially responsible way. We're so excited for these young people. What they'll do in this world is going to be just incredible. I really am I'm very pleased that we made the investment. I think it's going to continue to be a winning program. Each dean has done a great job following the other one with great style and with the great depth. The Schreier's most recent gift has enabled us to focus again upon the importance of building strong moral leaders. Being a Schreier Scholar is far more than just academic excellence. The Schreier Scholar does the academic work, but then they look at the world around them and see, now how can I take that expertise and make a real positive impact on the world around? I started doing research the second semester of my freshman year. For me, it's going to be my career. I really love research. I'm headed off to grad school next year, so basically this is going to be the rest of my life. I love being able to identify a problem and figure it out, something that's never been figured out before. In the spring of 2006, I decided I was going to go to Africa and work in an AIDS orphanage. And I saw what hardship means to other people. 
It gives you a whole new way of looking at yourself. When I came back, there was, there was no way I could just write another research paper. I had to do something else, and so I'm doing a new thesis now based around that experience abroad. Teaching abroad showed me that I actually really enjoy to teach. I really enjoy teaching. I'm a returning adult student. I made a um, commitment to myself that I was going to get the most out of every opportunity while I was here. Locally, I've worked with the Community Health Advocacy Project. I've also worked with the Women's Leadership Initiative at Penn State, where I did mentoring. Through my experience, I gain so much more from doing that type of work than I give. The Schreier Honors College experience is all about opportunity. We provide our students with the honors courses, research opportunities with faculty, travel abroad, the communal activities, the social activities, and the students who thrive are the ones who are willing to step out. They're the ones who reach out and they grab those opportunities and they run with it. Our oldest daughter, Ariel, graduated from the Honors College in 2004. She's well on her way to where she wants to go with her career. And then our son is a junior this year at the Honors College. So we will have had two students go through the Honors College. I've probably known Bill Schreier for 10 or 15 years. And one day I was telling him that Ariel was looking at colleges and he got all excited and started to tell me about the Honors College of Penn State. He obviously loves kids and he's anxious to help anybody, not just our two children, but I've heard many other stories of Bill doing exactly the same thing for other Honors Scholars. Our family is now on to its third Schreier Honors student. My parents love it. Neither of them are Penn Staters, but if you talk to them now, you never would have guessed. You'd think that they're alumni. Their love for their school, their loyalty to the sports teams. I think they get the best of all worlds when they are a member of the Honors College and are Penn Staters. That's about as good as you can get. It sounds cliche, but education is the great equalizer. It makes you not just smart and successful in your occupation, but how to be a citizen of, of the world. The Honors College is a college of risk takers. They take what they've learned and they decide to apply it, even if it's scary, even if it's strange, even if they're going to places they've never been. The Shires have been instrumental. Without their generosity, their vision, we wouldn't have been able to do so many of the things that we are able to do today. This is very, very important because philanthropy makes the difference between things that are just pretty good and things that are truly outstanding. It's a remarkable thing. My great hope is that 30 years from now it'll be, it'll be just as good or better than it is now. Bill just loves Penn State. He attributes some of his success in life to the experience and the education that he had at Penn State. He is the place. Everything that's there is because of what he gave us. He has allowed a group of students to come to Penn State, a huge research university where we can study abroad. We participate in all of these activities on campus, service and otherwise. And it's because of what he gave us. I think it's a very special situation. I'm very bullish on the outlook for uh, I think you've heard that expression before. Very bullish on Penn State, very bullish on the, on the Honors College. <laughs>